It is time now for your wild card report presented by Hankook Tire. Here in Studio 42, Greg Amsinger with my guys, Cameron and Dan. You know, Kevin Gossman's a dominant pitcher, but the Twins had an approach that was unique to get hits against him. What was that approach? Hmm. As you see, uh, Gossman doing outstanding work. But I see a lot of takes. So, again, Cam, what was the approach that they had against against Gossman? Come on, man. This is a professional show. Let's stay locked in. I don't know what that is. Uh, so th they they clearly got to Kevin Gossman doing something no one else has done. What was that? He's giving you the answer. What are you talking about? They Stop spit. Spitting. They spit on the splitter. They is, didn't that, is that what you're saying? You're, yes. You're not watch all the spit, all the takes. Yes. On the nastiest splitter in the game. I'm trying to give it to you. This is a baseball show, Greer. Oh, okay, so tell me, you're saying they spit on the best good pitch hitters, yes. spit on good pitches, and today they show how good a hitter, how, how many good hitters they had in that lineup. Take a look at these numbers right here, and take a look at today on how they were able to lay off that split. You see right here, Royce Lewis out of the hand. This is a pitch that he gets more swing and miss on than anybody in the game. You see early out of the hand, you see Royce Lewis. Oh, what does he do? I'll take that one. I'll get the 97 fastball coming in. I'll pull the hands and get the barrel to it, and I'll give these fans something to get up for. Here we go again. Splitty down. That's a pitch that he gets early swings and early chases off. Another one off the plate. What do they do? We just going to wait him out until we get that heater to the pitch we like. And what does Royce Lewis do? A two in a row right here. Up 94 middle middle. Thank you. Backside bomb. Torrey Hunter appreciate the little advice in spring training. Royce Lewis does it again. Steps up in a big way. Your rookies spitting on the splitty. Okay, but taking do, tough pitches. That's what do the numbers do. back that up. Uh, let, let's look at some stats. And right here, take a look at regular season. Over over 1,100 splitties thrown, 604 swings, 513 swing percent. I mean, look at that. And then today, look at today. ALC at look at that. 31 thrown, 10 swings. 32.3 percent uh, swing percentage. That's what you want to see. That's having a plan. That's having an approach against one of the guys with the best out pitch in the game. The pitching ninja talks about it all the time. This is maybe one of the most unhittable pitches to hit. So you know what they did? They said, if they see the splitty down, we're going <laughs> to split on it. Simple. <laughs> Yeah. That's the clearly that's what happened. To the box. So what does it look like when they don't spit on it? it? It becomes very frustrating as a pitcher because you're used to seeing swings and misses. Go back to a game in August against the Orioles. This is when his splitter was on point. He threw it a bundle. I think over 30 splits in this game and the Orioles had a heck of a time one putting it in play and there's several swings and misses. So when you're used to seeing part of your game being swing and miss with one of the more dominating swing and miss pitches in the game of baseball, you find yourself in game one in a three game series and you're not seeing swings and misses. You're not seeing guys lunging and being fooled, check swings. You're like, oh man, maybe something. And I think the Blue Jays and Kevin Gosman are going to have to go back into the vault and say, okay, is he doing something? Did he tip pitches? Because this is a, this is a Twins team that during the course of the season, there was quite a bit of swing and miss in that lineup. And all of a sudden, well, I, uh, they became very disciplined on game one. I'm glad you said that because Alex Rodriguez was calling the game, and he said the body language of the Twins hitters looked like they, they knew what was coming. Our own colleague, Ryan Dempster, pitched in the big leagues. He put out this tweet. Does anyone watching the Jays-Twins game feel like the Twins might have Gossman's pitches? Now, Cameron Maven, mm -hmm. did you ever have a pitcher's pitches? Yeah, I, I can say I had. I thought, okay, you I have thought, in your I career. I have. Did your body language feel like it may have been similar <laughs> to what we saw from the Twins? Because it looked like they were just not even trying as his foot was in the air. It, it's funny. When I, when I sat back and I, reala and I realized what I was watching today, a part of me said, I think they have his pitches. It, and it was the way they were taking pitches. You know, usually you get guys up to the plate and they get all speed and you see And you see that little flinch, that little take. Well, today, I mean, it was out of the hand and guys were just quietly not even making any type of pass at that pitch. And that immediately let me know, okay, either they're checking off for anything below the knee, anything below the zone, and, and or 
they have his pitches. And today, you know, you watch the swings that they got on the fastballs and the takes that they had on the splitty and something kind of gave it away. And I thought A-Rod, who had a lot of homers and did a lot of damage, who I know probably had some guys that he had tipping, his, tipping their pitches. And I think he definitely might have been on something onto something. But the thing, like Dan says, now they have to hope that they can get back to Kevin Gosman because one thing that I saw after that game, I saw some head, some head hanging in that Toronto Blue Jays dugout. Like, they didn't expect to come in. I think they expected to come in, have their way with the Twins. And today, that place was electric and it was loud. And I think the momentum slowly shifted today in a way that I don't think the Blue Jays were expecting. You know, going back to the last week of the season, the Blue Jays were very happy on Saturday night, right, when the Mariners, all of a sudden, they're out of the playoff race. All of a sudden, now the Jays don't have to use Gosman on Sunday, game 162, because they clinched a playoff spot. So now they're getting their fresh guy, game one on Tuesday. All of a sudden, boom, a little bit of a shock to the Blue Jays. They were shocked that the Twins spit on the split. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>